in his ass. That's what he said. Oh, okay, later. Yeah, cool. That's actually the second half of my show, so we'll take care of that. <laughs> I was, was going to say, what kind of promise is that? <laughs> the old, oh, I'll tell you what, if you're really serious about it, you'll insert your pinky into my asshole. <laughs> so, hey, speaking of which, uh, you know, do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped up to accept the pinky, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Can I say something about me? <laughs> Can I hit you? You already have two in there, so yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I don't think, are it's we like live? Tell me we're not live on the internet, right? No, not yet. Okay, we're not live on the internet. No, I said no, tell not. me we're not live on the internet. We're not live. Fuck, 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 fuck. Because if we're not live on the internet, then I can tell you about the latest character that just did it on. <laughs> They have been kicking around in our heads. Maybe you'll get booked next year. Yeah, in the background, Tensor Guy's like, no, don't do it. Too late, buddy. We've been drinking. Uh, <laughs> you know who's really popular at this kind of establishment? Neil Gaiman. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, there's another author. I, I don't even know if he's an author. Well, let's, <laughs> let's <laughs> know an individual. He's a, he's a speaker. Uh, uh, and, and maybe, I don't know, maybe he'll show up at some point on NSFW show. <laughs> but his name is uh, Neil Gaiman. Hey, I'm Neil Gaiman. <laughs> hey. It's a very <laughs> limited character. <laughs> he really only has two moves. Hey, look at me, I'm Neil Gaiman. <laughs> and then he's got the... <laughs> <laughs> I like to whisper sweet nothings in my lover's <laughs> ears. It sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> Neil Gaiman here. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to play this yes, here? That's fine. Yeah. All right, all right. So how close are we, Chad? Okay. Holy crap, Chad says we're ready. <laughs> What's that? No, all right, all right. Here we go. We're out of here. Here in charge now. I'm Hey guys.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Ali Spagnola! Thank you! My goodness, thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. In case you don't know, I'm the Power Hour Girl. And I'm going to open this up with a one-minute song for you guys. This one is my viral hit. I use that term loosely. <laughs> called Synonyms for Drunk. So I'm going to sing 91 words for drunk in under a minute. Okay, ready? <laughs> Let's go. In rare form and fried whiskey pot, I'm supplied to see a tank and sloppy and drank a lot of invincible done and stink. Oh, wait a minute. This doesn't feel right. Hold on. I, I need something to improve this a little bit. Can we get old John Smokey up here, huh? Huh? Give it up for old John Smokey and his world famous spoons. All right, let's see how this goes a second time. In rare form and fried and whiskey pie, also fried tipsy and tank and sloppy and drank. Blood oh, invincible, done but stink oh, messed up, tore up, blue up, boozed up, figured up, banged up, lit up, hooched up, buzzed and jazzed and blazed and bombed, ripped and kissed and blitzed and bombed, sod and logged and corked and sober, shot and sopped and totally tober, smashed, trashed, bashed, mashed, buzzy, fuzzy, dizzy, very screwed and blowing and nuked and blowing and too. <gasps> Soaked and jiggered and gone and pitiful to stand happy and see Triple loaded, polluted, toasted and stupid Inebriated, intoxicated, annihilated, saturated, lubricated, marinated Retarded, obliterated, pixelated, three sheets to the wind Licked and plowed and mellow and pushed, cocked and silly and hammered and crushed, drenched and wrenched and slammed and wasted, corked and skunked and slushed, lambasted, blasted and mustered, chillacked and whacked and crunk and drunk One minute of drunk. Give it up for old John Smokey. All right, without further, okay. I got, I got three leads for a dollar. Catch me after the show, all right, everybody? Get some John Smokey merch, ladies and gentlemen. All right, without further ado, give it up for your NSFW hosts, Justin Robert Young and Brian Rushwood. Uh, do you know what happened last night? The first time that's ever happened and maybe will never happen again. Like we spontaneously asked everyone to throw up the, uh, the Diamond Club sign, which uh, for those of you, I mean, it's pretty obvious. You just do this and you do this and you make your fingers make out with each other. But uh, somebody, like somebody- Lick each other's finger faces. I don't know who said it. In true chat realm style, like somebody did this and then rose it up and then somebody goes, diamonds in the sky! <laughs> And then all of them went up. It was freaking amazing. Diamonds in the sky, people. Do Diamonds it. Diamonds in the sky. See, look I at that. Feel the vibe. It's awesome. amazing. Uh, hey, guys. Welcome to NSFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined as always by the inimitable co-host of my little brother, Justin Robert Young. Yes. <laughs> That's little by way of penis size, by the way. <laughs> I just want to make everybody aware of that uncomfortable fact. Uh, and hey let you man. all wonder for the rest of the show how we found out. But you know it's not just the two of us. No, hell no. Listen, if it's a show at Dragon Con, there's two people that absolutely have to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome to the stage now Tom Merritt and Veronica Belmont. Yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now... I'll tell you what, Brian, before we get started, we got a lot of fun stuff that we want to do tonight, including we have a live performance by George Robb. Let's yeah. get some noise made about that. 
Uh, I do want to settle up something. I kind of think of the Dragon Con show as uh, sort of the beginning and end of the NSFW year. It's the biggest show uh, for us, and I feel like there's some housekeeping I need to do. By the way, uh, 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 Admiral Adama was not rocking the sunglasses. Let's just fix <laughs> your costume. No, he's there. like a one man meme. It's That's like, <laughs> deal, deal with, with it. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brian, I, I owe you something. Well, this is already. We had, a, we had a side. We had a side bet. We are uh, three in the, in minutes the, into the goddamn show, and you're going off script. In the summer movie league, we made a side bet. Uh, well, this was, is the thing you would not shut up about on Frame Rate every week. Absolutely. The and whole no way. way. The whole side bet. No I way. You, I owe you a steak. No way. And so now I would like to present to you live from the Hilton. Here is a full ribeye steak. Shut the hell oh, yeah. up! <laughs> Oh, oh wait, hold on, wait a minute. That is a full steak, just so everybody, everybody sees. Uh, you wanna know what though? Um, we don't have silverware. We don't have silverware. Is anybody, anybody actually having to have silverware here? Whatever, don't, don't worry about it, I'm fine. I think we got, somebody's got. <laughs> oh, there's somebody in the crowd it's that's soon. going to be bringing a knife it's to the soon. front of the. Of the hall here, if he can only find Why? his way here. Why would you start the show with this? <laughs> yeah. Come on up here. Look out, he's got a knife. All right, y'all can leave now. I'm going to eat a you, steak. Thank you, stranger. Uh, all right, Brian, what are we doing today? I never really uh, well, I thought we would butt. start things <laughs> off. First of all, that was a hell of a, that was a good trick. Like, uh, like um, I, I assume that you think that I'm on Veronica's payroll is why you didn't bother to tell me that the freaking Xenomorph was going to deliver <laughs> something. Well, the best part is, is like yesterday, I was like, so, Xenomorph, right? You're going you're gonna to make him come like, surprise no, me. He's like, no, nah, that joke's no. played out. <laughs> <laughs> that joke is. Yeah, you, you were not gonna fall for it anymore. So now it really is we've we've made our peace. He just there we go. Bring in silver. Obviously, you're peace and then some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we're gonna play a, a couple games. We're going to bring back the costume challenge. Yay! Are any are any of you in costume? <laughs> yeah, there's a few. There's a few people back there. All right. Uh, so what do you wanna do? We wanna do the. I'm eating my steak. Let's do. <laughs> Let's do the costume challenge first. So let's have everybody in a costume. If you want to play, stand up. Everyone in costume, stand up. <clears throat> Please stand up. Hmm. <laughs> All right. And now, and now, if you've never heard or seen an NSFW show before, especially at Dragon Con, we I've now select our champions. I got, I got dibs. I got my pick. I got my pick. Uh, all right. I think, I think I have mine. Wait a minute. Is that wow. guy the engineer from Futurama? You pick. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, what else we got? We got, uh, we, <laughs> we got. All right, all right, all right. I, I think, I think, uh, Tom, you want to go first? Sure, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll select the uh, ghosts from Pac Man. Damn it! That was my pick. <laughs> Tag team. And they're making wow. out. That ghost, that the, the do or the three ghosts that are about to have the most uncomfortable ghost orgy ever <laughs> <laughs> conceived of. Oh my uh, God! Uh, it's a baby. All right, all right. Uh, that's oh, that, a that's really a, that's good a great baby. Great cosplay of an infant. That uh, <laughs> uh, Veronica. Um, Scruffy. All right, get uh, on right, up here. Right, everyone, come on, come on up here. Everybody who's selected, come on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, could I, I possibly amazed, select could anybody? But where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That's amazing because I didn't even see her. Yeah, of course you <laughs> didn't. <laughs> All right. Follow look. the clues, gumshoes. <laughs> All I can think is that you might have like roofied his drink because I don't understand why any of you didn't go with your friend of mine, Bill Duran, dressed up as oh, Commander Shepard. Get him on up here. All right, now I feel extra bad because if you guys saw me walking around this weekend, I was wearing a Bill Duran original for a, a demon hunter from Diablo 3, and it was awesome. And uh, 
<laughs> random people shouting out props for Bill. No, All right, everybody else, there. I'm sorry. sit your Scrappy happy ass like down. Over there. I'm sorry. Although I, I do want to give a huge sorry. shout out to, to, to Fred Flintstone with Pebbles right there. The most adorable wow. costume. We also had, we had, a, we had a Rainbow Bright. We had, I don't know, a bunch of other people. Pebbles <laughs> is really mad at no, us right no now. No bronies, though, huh? No, no bronies. Although somebody, I did see. And, and or Stormtrooper back there. Pretty and or Stormtrooper, yeah. Yes. Biker Scout. He's a biker scout. He, look, he looks very... Hey, we don't tell you how to screw up fighting the rebels. <laughs> I, I, did, I, I did see somebody out there. Uh, can somebody show me with their Ira Sockman cosplay? There we go. Oh, my God, Ira oh, Sockman. Oh, yes. Amazing. He yes, says, yes, Brian and Justin, I made my way here. Uh, do me a favor. You can't use the term ghost orgy. It's uh, <laughs> been trademarked by Capcom. Capcom. <laughs> Thank you. I was just pretending he wasn't there. That's yes. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. Uh, all right. Well, How do you want to divvy this up? You, you want to face off? Well, let's, let's have uh, this Wrestling. one side come over, come over here. All right, there we go. Let's get Scruffy and uh, Commander Shepard over here on the left-hand side. Uh. We got Carmen San Diego and the ghosts, Inky, Binky, and Pinky. No Clyde, though. Huh. Jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, All right. Man. So this is me versus Tom, then, right? Yeah. Well, it's actually Carmen San Diego versus the ghosts. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. You're just the arbiters of their sure. fate. Uh, I will make my argument first, and then uh, depending on what you guys think is the most valid, you will cheer to see who advances. By the way, I will say this. The winner of the, uh, the, the character challenge does get an what? original punished props uh, unpainted Mass Effect blaster. <laughs> Unless Bill wins it, and then I guess he's just gonna take it home. <laughs> uh, but let's, uh, hold on, wait a minute. Carmen San Diego is telling me to wait. <clears throat> no transferring PayPal bribes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Carmen San Diego, obviously very intensely doing something with her iPhone. What in the world is she doing? Oh, she's playing the theme song. Exactly, playing Wait, very quietly. Hey, all right, all right, all right. Uh, all right, excellent. Well, there we go. Listen, uh, that, listen. That's, that, that's, that's an amazing uh, starter there. I don't uh, know about you, Justin, but I think it's just gauche and uncouth and uncalled for to play the theme song of your very own character that you're representing live on stage. <laughs> Shut up and eat your steak. <laughs> uh, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, Carmen San Diego is an international criminal mastermind. She runs an organization unparalleled in stealing things. I've, I'm, and I'm, then, not, uh, I'm sorry, allowing... Justin. I very rarely do I just interrupt you. In there. I, it's not for me to armchair quarterback, but uh, remember, this is determined by popular vote, right? Yeah. And you're just going to sit there and flatly describe her actual Shut benefits. up, Brian. <laughs> That's uh, All right, all right. I'll try it <laughs> one more time. All right, from, from the top. Take it from the top. I think you can do this. I'm sorry, Tom. <laughs> Listen and that's here. all the time we have. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, gumshoes. Tom in San Diego is an international criminal mastermind. You will have to go to all the geographical locations she's been to to find out what a total major badass she is. <laughs> gumshoes, gumshoes, if you follow the clues, you will clearly realize she'd beat the ghosts because ghosts aren't goddamn real. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Your move, buddy. <laughs> I I uh, would just like to. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I would ju I would just. I'll like tell you what. With, with Tom, with, with the thing hanging over the side. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't anyone eat a pill. <laughs> I don't look good when I turn blue. Uh, <laughs> I just want to uh, I just want to reiterate something Justin said criminal who wants to vote for a criminal <laughs> It's pretty good it's legit the, the ghosts are an endangered species hunted to the brink of extinction 
Uh, their, their, their natural lands raped and pillaged of resources. <laughs> <laughs> and they play ukulele. Such Can Carmen Sandiego such bravery say that? In the okay, face of adversity, this is truly phenomenal. Tom, I don't know what euphemism playing ukulele is in St. <laughs> Louis, <laughs> but they're playing something. Uh, all right, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you believe that the ghosts should advance to the next round, make some noise. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, all right, all right. Let, let's, get, let's get a baseline, let's get a baseline. Oh, for gumshoes. <laughs> well, if well, you well. believe that Carmen well, San Diego well, well. should advance to the finals, make some noise. Man, I don't even know. That was, my, my human ears are not finely tuned enough to, to and certainly Tom can't chime in because he's got a stupid foam rubber hat on. <laughs> Uh, let's keep I, I, I never realized how much the ghost kind of looks like Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, let's uh, seriously pick a side. Let's try it again. Ghosts. Oh, no, no, I, th I, think, I think the ghost had it. I think, I think, uh, what, really? yeah, no, think I think, so? I think, uh, by a nose, by a nose, I think the ghost Why had it. Why are you it. shaking your head, Zach Holder? Oh, I think Carmen took that one. Yeah. You think Tar Car see, the audience is not with you. I mean, what do you think, dance off? Uh, oh! I mean, Carmen San Diego. Is jumping at the chance. Uh, can we can we get the belt bet song? Uh, can someone oh say the God, word so we can play the belt bet? Song? Hold on one second. I gotta oh, go. Oh to no, hold on. Wait a minute. I think we might have something. Yeah. That's oh wait, we too. have a. Would said. you like to see the ghost from Pac-Man and Carmen San Diego engage in a freak nasty dance off to Gundam style? I will say this. I need to keep talking until Brian has Gundam style pulled up. <laughs> and yeah. I will keep talking <laughs> Just, until we, uh, this pre-roll ad <laughs> is done. Because if we didn't, we'd be... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap, oh. man. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we've seen right, what well, we need to see here. Man, I don't know. You want to know what? I'm going to leave it up to you and Veronica. Uh, Veronica. You guys watch the dancing. You're I impartial. Let uh, me, I mean, we, you, one of us is going to have to face the stronger of these two. And I'll say this much. Uh, Carmen Sandiego knew, knew the, the, the quintessential dance right off the top, but I saw a variety from them ghosts. Yeah, they... they <laughs> I saw the robot in there. They shook their things. I they saw did. the. I don't the, know where took their the things are, but they shook them. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say ghosts. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with, the, go ghosts. with the ghosts. I love Carmen San Diego. Sorry. Oh, oh God! Oh God. God! That's how baby ghosts oh, are made. God, <laughs> Amazing. I'll tell you what, Carmen San Diego came dangerously close to getting a clue followed up her. <laughs> 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 All right, that moves us on to our next contestants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you what, Brian, you go first. Uh, well, okay, first of all, our two contestants, uh, I, I'm not even familiar with this minor character from a comedy series <laughs> that got canceled like five times what? and then keeps coming back. Oh, hey, hey, wait a minute, Brian. Hold up, wow. hold up, hold up. Wow. Sorry, Brian, bro. Brian, hold I, up. I, it's a popularity <laughs> contest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you this much, though. Bill Doran made... Okay, that you suit. Don't, no, 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 you're talking about the character. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, all right, look, Commander Shepard, I don't know, only sacrificed himself to save the motherfucking galaxy. Um, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Scruffy probably saved the galaxy, oh, too. There's the, all right, there's your belt bed. I'm sorry, the rules are different in a live show. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
So, uh, look, uh, Commander and, and, Shepard. And by the way, can you, can you uh, correct that to sacrifice himself to save the galaxy in a very controversial and stupid way? To All right. To rewrite it. You know what? You're if only to... we had a show to discuss this to death. <laughs> oh, too soon. <laughs> too soon. Uh, Great look, point, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Shepard is the, somebody who proves himself time and time again, somebody who's interested in doing the right thing, the badass thing, uh, and I in no way factored into my decision to support Commander Shepard that Bill Duran is the person who made this goddamn prop that we're giving away. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Veronica? First of all, Futurama is awesome! Oh, uh, what do we say about Scruffy Scruffington? He sits quietly in the background, always observing, quietly reading to himself. There's so little we actually know about this man that is the janitor at Planet Express. Uh, <laughs> What we do know, though, is that I'm pretty sure he's a zombie. <laughs> and I think he's also the majority shareholder in Planet Express as well. <laughs> that is badass. Huh? Scruffy loves, his Scruffy loves his company. He is there day in, day out. He cleans up everybody's messes and doesn't complain a bit. Let's hear it for Scruffy Scruffy Dead! <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna punch every person who votes for the guy who cleaned the shitter over the guy who sacrificed himself for the galaxy. Uh, Brian, I, I don't think we need to vote. <laughs> yes. I think this one is done. Uh, make it official, make it official. Yeah. All right, one more time, Commander Shepard. <laughs> Or Scruffy Scruffington! Yeah! Bill, I love you. I'm yeah. sorry. I know. Uh, I love hey, you. Hey, hey, Commander Shepard. Good news, everyone. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Yeah! Uh oh. Commander Shepard would like to say some words. I hope that every year I can work really, really hard at making more and more awesome co uh, costumes so that I can come back here and lose every year. You broke Commander Shepard's heart. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. A flask so uh, Commander <laughs> Shepard can uh, drown put one in back. sorrows. <laughs> That's sportsmanship right there. There we go. <laughs> Classy guy, classy guy. Let's bring Amazing. to center stage now our finalist, Scruffy Scruffington and the ghost from Pac-Man. Make some noise for him, people. Uh, it's me versus my arch nemesis, Tom Merritt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sword all right. laser. <laughs> now, let, let's, uh, do you guys have any final comments before we take our final vote here? Yeah, what are you thinking? What's going through your heads right now? What's your strategy? Scruffy will sweep these guys up. That's all I have to say. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I'll make the puns here, Belmont. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, the, the, the ghosts are, appreciate sportsmanship. Uh, they appreciate janitors. They also appreciate eating things. Oh, uh, and Scruffy doesn't? <laughs> Hold on. Wow. I'm sorry, Scruffy. You didn't deserve that. No, Scruffy, like Scruffy going to get taken What's down. Like is it uh, okay? So uh, wait, was that your cases that you just made? What the hell just happened? You no. Ask for comments. Who would yeah, you really? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see. We already know. I'll tell you what. Let's start things off with Scruffy. Oh. Go ahead. Oh my God! Yeah, Scruffy he's just. Something. <laughs> All right, literally, Scruffy just made a <laughs> bag of chips appear from the audience. <laughs> Scruffy don't care. Scruffy don't care. Scruffy don't care. He don't care none. Scruffy's got a zero-G jug, so he don't care. <laughs> exactly. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, 
Is it the janitor with porno magazine or <laughs> the stalker rapist ghost? <laughs> That was that, incredibly that, fair of you and very even-handed. I mean, what else would you call people that consistently track down a woman and her husband around corners? <laughs> Justice. <laughs> All right, that? one more time. Here we go. The ghost from Pac-Man. Ooh. <laughs> Scruffy's Gruffington. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's now being invested with the lays. Wow. All right, wait a minute, wait here. a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the ghosts are now chanting one All right, of us. get over here, Scruffy. You uh, get... Oh, crap. I just the, knocked over something. That's uh, forget it. Don't admit to that. I'm already done the dead bit. <laughs> <laughs> Scruffy, Scruffy, Scruffy over here. gets an original Punish Props, and that is designed by Bill Duran, the guy who did the incredible Commander Shepard uniform that everyone seemed to hate for some reason. Uh, thank you very much to Punish Prop, and... Hey, uh, the, uh, there were runner-up gifts uh, given. Oh, yeah, uh, promotional considerations. Uh, <laughs> uh, the the runners-up here, they got the uh, Alley Spagnola Power Hour shot glass. If you, have, if you don't have one, they're going to be sold uh, out there in the back. It is a shot glass on a string that includes a USB key that plays the entire Alley Spagnola 61-minute songs Power Hour. You need this in your life if, if you're you an alcoholic. Are drunk. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Hey, uh, also, uh, the ghosts uh, donated their extra hat to us. To hells show. yes. We're keeping that. We'll put it on the state of Game Mont. Thank you, guys. Well, too, too soon. soon. Way to be a dick, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you know who else we should thank are the fine folks who make NSFW possible month after month. They're friends of ours. They're friends of yours. Even if you've never met them yet, we're talking about our fine friends over at Squarespace. Oh my god, when Free you trial accounts for everybody! Yeah. Yay! Cut up your credit cards! <laughs> you don't need a credit card, Tom. Squarespace 6. Oh, <laughs> one guy's very excited about Squarespace 6, and god damn it he should be, man. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, not only does it have uh, the most responsive design ever, listen, you don't have to worry about a mobile design anymore. It scales down so it looks pretty sexy on your phone. You're going to want to hump this website when you see it on your phone. <laughs> it looks real good. True. I want to lick it. I'll tell you what, even if, not, if you're not sure you like Squarespace, maybe you want to take it for a little ride. Maybe you want to make a tribute site to Neil Gaiman. How many people like Neil Gaiman here in the audience? Yeah. Really which, excited, which everybody. Neil it's me, Neil Gaiman. <laughs> <laughs> you can create that site for two weeks. They won't ask for a credit card or nothing, and you can just go to squarespace.com. It's the perfect place for your high-quality blog portfolio or any other website. We thank them for their support. Hey, man, what would you guys like? A big oh, old oh, fat wait, discount? Remember, yeah, there, there we go. The discount, of course. All you have to do. Well, Brian, what are I know. God damn it. Yeah, Jesus. Nine. Hey. Hey, it's nine. He's like, nine. 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 Squarespace nine. nine. All right, uh, Brian. Brian, what is the discount again? Ten percent no. off your entire order. Uh, yes, for the rest of your life. For the rest ten, of your life. Ten no, percent off true. the first purchase on new accounts, there monthly or yearly. And with yearly, you get a free domain name. Dude, put that in your pipe and smoke it. But happily. use promo code yeah. NSFW. Nine. Here Boom. We go. Hey man, uh, I feel like our show's dead flat and busted, and we might as well quit right now. All right. No. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Wait a minute. I've got a little additional rocket booster that's going to send this bitch into orbit. <laughs> it's a little boost of energy I like to call George Robb of the Geologic Podcast. <laughs> Get on out here, George Robb. Uh, 
Go ahead and Hi, sit George. down there, George. Uh, I do want to point out, not only for everybody who's watching this live, George Robb's Geologic Podcast will record right after this show. So just uh, park your keisters in those seats and watch that show. Also, and this is a little secret sauce, okay? At 1 a.m. tonight, here in this hallway... At that piano that I'm pointing to through the wall. Yes. I, everyone turns around. They're like, ain't no goddamn piano. <laughs> uh, George will be playing the entire Dark Side of the Moon album on piano at 1 a.m. Um, Grab yourself if, you got a beer, beer, if you are watching this on live stream or uh, later on the podcast, sucks to be you, bro. <laughs> And I'm told that uh, many cosplayers will be acting out the Wizard of Oz at the same time. That'll be very exciting. Exactly. I'm, I'm shuddering to think of what those ghosts are going to be doing to each other. <laughs> all right. Uh, real, real quick. Jo George, how are you doing, sir? Good. Excellent. Fantastic. All right. Look, uh, I don't know about you, but we've all been given, like, panels out the ass, yeah. which is like a complicated sex move. <laughs> Especially <laughs> me. Hey, I'm the gay man. I'm doing panels up the ass. Hey. <laughs> so That's my Chicago doing? cover band. <laughs> Worse and worse. It's like it's, it's like every panel. Exactly. Is, it's getting worse and worse, and it started for Veronica making out with a xenomorph. <laughs> so the important thing Problem? is like you get so good at working off of a PowerPoint, right? You you set up your sort of direction, you know what your next point is, you click it, and, and you're not even really paying attention. I suspect that as what, four year veterans of Dragon Con now, everyone at this table is so good that we could give a speech on anything using slides none of us have ever seen before. <laughs> it's you know, you know that nobody uses slides at Dragon Con, right? Uh, I, I did. Oh. That's, All right. That's, it's a bit. You're Just one roll of those. With He's okay. the one. He's the guy. <laughs> that's okay. Keeping it alive, bro. He had very good PowerPoints. Bro. <laughs> That's a little game we call, uh, put together by Patrick Delahanty called PowerPoint Roulette. Here we go. Uh, the way the game is played is that we are going to pick a topic from the audience, and we as a team are going to present an entire panel on that subject using nothing but frames that none of us have seen. Patrick Delahanty selected all these frames before the show and selected them for maximum uh, relevance to whatever subject we put out there. Uh, so we're going to start at the far end with, uh, with George Robb and move all the way in, but we need to decide what the subject is. So, I know, yeah. it's got to be normal. It's got to be something normal. Mermaids, ghost hunting, banging, ghost porn. Furries. Did you say German hunting? I like. Someone mermaids. suggested fish. <laughs> oh yeah, I think someone said fish. I like fish. Fish. Yeah. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. They finally turned I on you. I thought we were doing a show here. You're yelling here. something very angry, and I don't know what it is. All right. I just want to know what they were all... Cock? Did you say... Say what? Trout thumb? It sounds like it's... Oh, con funk. Trunk funk? Oh, this is good. Oh, con funk. Smelly ass con people. Funk. Con funk, yeah. Yeah. Con You've heard of the con plague, but man, you get down in there, it does get a little bit nasty. Con funk. You're rubbing up against Robin with the 12-inch wanger. Have you seen that guy? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> exactly. You're telling me he's my roommate. Hey! New gay man here. So here's, here's where we're going to start. Neil Gaiman's uh, going to find you and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I know. He's got like four feet on me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, George, here's what's going to happen. You're going to take charge of this presentation. We're going to give an entire presentation on con funk. And you, uh, each of us taking a different... <laughs> different aspect of I it. Mean, there is one, there is like a three-man party in the corner of the Crystal Ballroom. <laughs> it's amazing. Just make sure to indicate when you're ready for me to advance the slide by saying next si slide, p please. All right, sounds cool. Ladies and gentlemen, con funk, personal hygiene is a very important issue when you're here at the convention. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to talk to you about how to prevent con funk or when you need to actually use con funk to your advantage. 
Now you might think, when could you possibly use confunk to your advantage? Well, the first slide will show, of course, Sometimes it's very difficult to find your car. <laughs> what you can do is you can call, you can mark your car with your confunk. So, <laughs> as you're going through the parking garage, because your particular confunk is so unique, you can use it as a tagging device to find your vehicle. <laughs> now, if that doesn't work to find your vehicle, what you could do is. What you, what you could do is you could call your girlfriend. <laughs> and she will let you know where you parked your car, which is very essential. She'll, uh, she'll just get right on that. She'll let you know what's happening. And if she can't tell you where you parked your car, then you could always ask. Cat. We went with two cats in a row, really? That's what we went with? <laughs> we have the entire fucking internet worth of pictures. <laughs> we went with two cats in a row. <laughs> that actually is proportionally correct. I'm sorry, that is proportionally correct yeah. to the internet. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Well, this, this actually, this, the thing is about this cat, yeah, th this cat is actually suffering, suffering from a very unique kind of uh, a con funk where uh, you, see, you see that is actually its rectum. <laughs> this cat is actually facing the other direction, but the con funk, the con funk has become sentient on this cat. <laughs> And that's something that you want to avoid, folks. You want to avoid sentient confunk. Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. You got one more. Oh, okay. We should do the thing. <laughs> now, now if, you, if, you do, if you do manage to avoid getting confunk, uh, uh, Brian will love you this much. <laughs> All right, next presenter, please. Let's pass it on down. <laughs> Tom Barrett. Yes, of the uh, CDC Confunk Detection Corporation. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd like to expand on some of the things George said about using uh, Confunk to your own advantage with our, our first slide here. <laughs> this is representative of how Confunk starts. The broken egg, as you, you, know, you know, the smell of a rotten egg is bad. The broken egg represents everyone who walks through the door of a hotel. <laughs> the four other eggs are all the football fans who see them walk out of the hotel. <laughs> Next slide, please. This man obviously is suffering from confunk, but he has taken preventative measures. <laughs> For the courtesy of your fellow congoers, please always wear full armor. <laughs> Next slide, please. <laughs> this is what will happen to your friends if you don't. <laughs> this man got very, very close to Brian Brushwood. <laughs> and then tried to solve it by getting close to Justin. <laughs> Next slide, please. So this is what Justin and Brian did to him. <laughs> The CDC recommends this is the only proper disposal of serious confunk. Now, you'll see the perpetrator attempting to escape to the right. So we have the man in green as a guard. He will shortly turn around, throw him back into the fire, and the problem will be solved. Next slide, please. Oh, next presenter. Let's pass it on over to Veronica Belmont. So I think the issue we haven't addressed here is how do you know if you've become a victim of confunk? First of all, <laughs> if people have told you to go live in a very large, I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> if they told you to go live in that van down by the river, you are definitely a, a victim of confunk, yes. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> Some of, the, some of the manifestations that we've seen in the animal world include a 24-legged tiny dog. Now, as you can see, this dog is clearly unhappy with his state of affairs. What's that? Centaur. Centaur. Centa dog, thank you. The famed Santa, Santa dog. dog. Santa dog. <laughs> Adorable, but deadly. 
Next slide. <laughs> if this woman comes to your house, it means one of two things. You either have confunk or bees. <laughs> Now, if you have both of those things, she'll eat your face. <laughs> As you can see. God damn it. I can't see what that is. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, on the right, you will see that uh, this one man is clearly experiencing a confunk kind of situation. He is wearing a uh, sleeveless shirt and also elevating his arms in a threatening manner. Now this means that anyone standing around him, such as the gentleman behind him, is going to get a full-on, right in the frickin' face wave of confunk. Sometimes that turns you green. Sometimes that's, you know, that's, that's true. Happen. Let's kick that's it over happen. to Justin Robert Young. Listen, folks, we've had a lot of fun here tonight, but I want to get real for a few minutes. <laughs> Confunk's a serious legal issue. And I want to make, make you all aware of not only your obligations to your fellow con goers, but the possible penalties should you go away from them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first panel. You can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, punitive measures will be taken if you don't wash yourself. <laughs> Those include being sick <laughs> Having gigantic gorillas go after you after they've been trained as killing machines in the field of a millionaire's estate. No one really knows why he's trained killer apes or why you smelling like a pile of hot garbage is how he wants to apply them. But know that they're real and they're coming. Thank you. Next slide, please. <laughs> what? What? A few other possible penalties include <laughs> If you smell like a bum's asshole You will have your butt pressed up against the wall In a nondescript office building That kind of looks like a negative version of the Saw movies <laughs> You will not be let down, and you will die there. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> a lot of people might not know that a quick way to remedy con funk is by collecting over 9,000 bicycles <laughs> and putting them on top of your car. If you don't, I know what a lot of you are saying. I have 8,999 bicycles. I need one more, and I need a van. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead to the next slide. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> one final penalty of smelling like a pile of disgusting human waste in a big, crowded, sweaty environment is having a bunch of random people on the internet do nothing but spend their time photoshopping you into embarrassing poses. <laughs> Don't let this happen to you, and do please be aware while here at Dragon Con or any other con, that that NSFW logo makes it look like Brian's got a total boater. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what. Hey, Justin. Now on to the next presenter. Justin, would you mind running the, uh, the, the, the machine for me here? Because I want to have a serious discussion. You guys have been clowning around talking about con funk like it's a bad thing. I'm telling you to embrace the funk. I'm saying let it wrap around your spine and down into your bowels till it tickles your cloaca to make you do a funny dance. Let me give you a little bit of a vision of a brighter future, because once we all have con funk, nobody's funky. Let's take a look. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed the band. We, uh, I 
the back. <laughs> we can be tailors. Uh, maybe not all drivers. But, uh, but we could create those amazing costumes. This is what happens at Dragon Con when you embrace the funk and decide it's more important to be happy about the costume you're gonna make than the UPS van you drove off the side of the road. <laughs> Let's look at some of the other fascinating visions of the future. <laughs> You can smite your enemies <laughs> with your awesome funk cloud. <laughs> you walk up, everything's cool. You're like, sup, bro? <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> and this, <laughs> this is how we'll respond. <laughs> And finally, if there's one image that truly embodies what's possible, if all of us give in to our baser natures and just embrace the con funk, I think it's this one, my final slide. God damn it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> hey guys, let's have a round of applause for Patrick Delahanty, who first showed me this game. And while we're at it, let's have a hand for the folks who have literally made this possible to be streamed out to thousands of people worldwide. We're talking to our friends over at New Tech with their, uh, their TriCaster that they sent over here to DragonCon just so we could stream this out. Tell us about him, Justin. Well, Brian, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> TriCaster 40 provides real-time HD and SD video production, portability, turnkey operation, built-in live streaming, virtual sets, and network-style visual elements. Pricing and availability is as follows. Available immediately and for <laughs> the old retail price of $4,000, uh, $995. Available in the back, just please. We have them at the merch table, so uh, <laughs> go ahead and... Pick those up. Listen, uh, so yeah, I mean, New Tech is like the real deal. They do uh, the X Factor on Fox, ESPN, X Games, uh, New York Giants, NBA, Fox News, BBC, NHL, everything you've ever known. And uh, they were so nice. They flew this, or they, they sent this thing to Atlanta just for this show. So let's go ahead and get a little New Tech live. <laughs> And if you're, if you're watching or whatever, go ahead and blow them up on Twitter. I'm sure they got a Twitter handle. Make sure that they know that how much you appreciate uh, them. Yeah, thank you for making this possible, because literally, that's exactly what they did. All right, we got to wrap things up, but that means we got to have our... Uh, <laughs> so normally, last, last year, we sort of launched off our Summit Music Series, and week after week, we had all these amazing artists. This year, we launched off our music series and then forgot to book any goddamn artists. Yeah, yeah, we had, we had a few. We've had a, and, and there's gonna be more live music now that uh, we have a little bit more of an access to the, the Twin Studio, but there's one man who has been head and shoulders, one of our favorite, most amazing musical guests. He's here on the panel, and we are ready. Let me get my axe, get my axe. Okay. All right. Like, this We're is about like, like to the reveal video. He's who this person is. He's about to slaughter all of us with an axe. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, actually, we uh, can't quick. say who this individual is that was on the panel that's about to perform for us to close the show. Uh, well, here, let's just, uh, uh, Tom, Veronica, thank you guys uh, so much for coming on again. Yeah, make some noise. Uh, do you guys have any, any, any final words for, for this, the Dragon Con audience? No, till next year. There we go. Till next year, let's give it over to your friend of mine, Mr. George Robb, make some noise for this guy. There you go. Move, move that other microphone over so he's got a guitar mic there on go. there. Look at this. Here we go. Let's, let's do a little sound check action. We'll see what we got. Wait for it. I don't know. One, two. Yeah. Yeah. Does it sound good out there? One, two, one, two. All right. In the Amazon, there is an animal. It is the only vertebrate parasite. What that means is it's a parasite that's a vertebrate. I don't know, science ain't my thing. No, it has a spine. So it has a spine and it actually feeds off other animals. The way it feeds off other animals is it swims up the urogenital openings of those animals. 
that means, yes, gentlemen, you just bend it in half. That's right. It swims up, up your penis. That's right. Mammals, particularly guys that swim in the water, you swim, you take a piss because it has a sensing organ inside it that can actually detect urine in the water, and it swims up your penis, up your urethral tube thingy, and it has reciprocating spines that then go and you can't get it out unless you use surgery. Man, I am so glad that we got you on this show. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. George Rock. <laughs> so here's the thing, it's called a Kandiru, and the first time I read about that, I thought, that needs a song. So that's what this is, this is called Cruel Spines. In the jungle, in the water, just waiting for its prey. As you wade up to your waist, it swims over your way. No music from Jim Williams will warn you of his court since it's something in the water and it's looking for the source. Relieving pressure that's built to a height, a scent that something isn't right. Before I can tap, I get a feeling in my lap I haven't been fishing, but I just got a bite. I look down, I can't believe what I see. I have a tenant, but no condo fee. What couldn't be true has become kangaroo. It's no longer I, it's now we. <laughs> The doctor said he'd never seen such a case. I could tell he wasn't lying by the look in his face. Then he shined a bright light in my most private place. He said he wasn't sure how to vacate this space. He said, you might need roto rooter to help fix your spoo shooter. Try as I like, I can't punch this spike and remove this aquatic commuter. Your posture will turn to a slouch. You'll probably turn into a grouch. I regret to inform that from now on the norm. The word you say most will be ouch. Biology. Offers no apology. Maybe it won't be so bad. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't feel glad. Trust me, this is quite a weird sensation. This penal code violation. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to act. And I hope its cruel spines will retract. Are you fiction? No, I'm fact. Evolution's quite a trick. And to its guns, it will stick. It can develop fish that'll do what they wish, like set up camp in your prick. Although it hasn't been fun, I'm glad it's not over and done. The moral, I guess, is I have to confess, even this company's better than none. Biology offers no apology. That's right. Maybe it will be so sad. I'm afraid I don't feel glad. Trust me, this is quite a weird sensation. This penal code violation. Sorry, this tubal ligation. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to say. And I hope your cruel spines go away. Will you leave me? No, I'll stay. Couldn't understand it. Why all the men upon entering the water covered up, but they called the nether regions using a shell from a tree just like a dog strap. What was this look that they all gave him? Squinting their eyes as they watched him in the water. Realized that the sun will soon be louder. To us, like what he ends up getting. And when he pee, the gift he see is duty free. Biology <laughs> offers no Zoology, which is the proper pronunciation, by the way, offers no apology. Ow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. George Robb. Thank you. Well, that's just about it. That's about the most amazing way we could possibly get out, go out. Hey, guys, we're going to hang around. Don't forget, Geologic Podcast recording right after this. Justin and I are going to hang out in the back. We got exclusive Dragon Con 3 equals 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 D t-shirts available back there. We sincerely love you guys. Will you please have Diamonds sex with us? <laughs> amazing. Dying of fire, guys. See you next Tuesday.
Diggler! 